Hello, kisses to my subscribers. Okay, what's different? Yep, the lashes are gone. Bloop. Thank God, because they were getting on my nerve. Kisses to my lovely subscribers. I hope that you're having a wonderful evening. Guess what? I have 36 minutes, and I won't keep you any longer than that. Hopefully, it won't just cut you off in the middle of the conversation, because sometimes I forget how much time I have left. Yes, my daughter stuff. I'm in the same spot. I just, uh, yeah, we're gonna be here. Is that okay? Anyway, hopefully we're okay. Moving on. So, I wanted you guys to hear GBC. This is Diana's, previous Diana's. Hello, <laughs> let me go back. I'm all jumping into it. Kisses to all of you, thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. I appreciate it. Thank you for my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, thank you for your support. All I ask you to do is hit like and leave a comment and tell me where you're from. You don't have to have an opinion about the situation, but if something strikes your fancy, go for it. Okay, so, I've done this before, but this is a little different. I didn't write any notes down. I've been busy all day. Daughter went back to school today, and mommy's been looking for a job. Um, so, basically, this is Diana's butler. Harry's mother's used to be butler. Okay, but it's on GB News and I'm going to do a deep dive on what they're talking about because I'm just curious to know. And hopefully you guys are too. Like I said, I, Megan hasn't been in my brain today, so she's, she, she'll be in there now. <laughs> Breaking tonight, hopes of an upcoming royal reunion have been scuppered with a friend of Prince William telling the U.S. outlet The Daily Beast, Charles won't be seeing Harry and nor will William. No chance. He feels utterly betrayed by what Harry wrote about him in the book. And the inside scoop. It, it sounds like Harry's camp or whoever is trying to connect with King Charles and William. That's what it sounds like because the palace have tore down those speculations. And so here's my theory that Meghan and Harry needs this publicity. They need some type of connection back to the royal family because their deals are drying up and they're realizing that no one cares. No one cares. The tig is going to fall where it's going to fall. I'm just, listen, it's, popular she should be she should have like Britney Spears Britney Spears type of of a crowd 50 million followers 40 million talk about Britney a little later but my point is is that and I've said this before no one's knocking on Megan's door and saying hey once you come outside and play with us we want to pay you millions for doing it that ship has sailed. No one's doing that anymore. And no, and no one wants their brand attached to hers because of what she's done. No one's desperate. They don't need Megan. Megan needs everyone else. Mm -hmm. Megan needs Louis Vuitton, Gucci, whoever, to allow them to, to advertise their stuff. Now, what's going to be interesting to me in this TIG if she is not advertising high-end products, I'm going to be like, what? But it's not going to matter anyway because the fall is here. It's over. Their popularity, their money-making machine, whatever they thought they were going to do to become this awesome, gruesome, twosome, powerful couple has ended. They're not Jay-Z and Beyonce. They're not J-Lo and Ben. They are Megan and Harry, the two that fell from grace. 
because no one looks at them and see power couple or an influencer or something great when you thought that going on anything public talking about something private that happened between your family was okay to do. Family secrets, things that people wouldn't, you normally wouldn't talk about in open settings, but Megan thought it was okay to do. And she convinced her husband to do it. On Netflix. Yeah. On William's relationship with I bought Harry And so Rose word on the street is, is that, oh no, it is not William and Charles. Of course it never was about peace talks. But every time you hear something, it's coming from over there at Megan's house. Let's say that we're going to get together with them and make peace talks. Well, I don't think, I believe, and this is what I believe, that William knows that these two are frauds and that they need the publicity right now because everything that they've touched is in a toilet and their popularity is shot and William's over here shining and he hasn't even visited. Catherine's husband is looking like just yummy to everyone. And his little brother. Yeah, they need help. Yeah, they need a bone. They are not attached to the family anymore. And so what's the good news about that? No longer a royal. No longer your highness where well, you can't use them. Nothing. You don't get to see the kids like Catherine's kids and all of them and watch them grow up and be like, oh, there is nothing to these two. They're boring. They've run out of stories to tell. She's going to be popping herself back up any moment now. Give her a day or two. She needs to continue to pop up. Because if she doesn't, she's going to be swallowed up. Let's go back to the summit that never happened. About him in the book and said about him on Netflix. Mm -hmm. On William. Dance. He feels utterly betrayed by what Harry wrote about him in the book and said about him on Netflix. On William's relationship with Harry, the source added... They were very close growing up, so it has been very painful for William. Whoa, we got something to talk about. Mm -hmm. To me, this is as close as I'm going to get, in my opinion, about how William is feeling about his brother without him actually telling me. So this is what I'm going to relay it to. Because I would feel exactly the way William feels. He feels betrayed. He said the way he talked about him on the docu-series. It's interesting that Meghan and Harry actually inserted the royal family into their mess. Inserted them into the docu-series. Inserted them into that that. Oprah Winfrey debacle into their book. This was their endeavors. This was their moment to make their brand. But instead, they trashed their family, which became their brand. That is it. They're marked. Megan and Harry are marked. That's their legacy. Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean this. I'm just saying. That's your legacy? You do not want that to be your legacy. That's it. And that, that you know what? We're going to have to put a think in the legacy because I need to do a whole section on that because that's how people remember you. Your legacy is what you leave behind. Do you care? Look, look how the way they talk about Wallace. The other woman that was a, wasn't on the up and up. An American that, shh, come on over here. Used him for whatever reason. Megan and Harry need help. And they're secretly trying to get a connection 
over there to the royal family? And obviously the answer was no, we are not meeting with you because just yesterday we found out that the summit was not going to happen. And I, you know what I said to myself? I said, watch how this story grows. Ta-da. Now we know. William is not ready for no chit-chat. <laughs> mm -mm. William is not ready for all of that. Because the one thing, one person that William thought that he could trust more than anyone was Harry. If <laughs> interview William, who do you tr who do you trust your life with the most? Oh, my brother. Careful, because the traitor traded for a tramp. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess what else she's doing right now? So, you know, remember she didn't go with him to court. I'll come back. I had a lot to say about that, but I'm not going to go too deep. She didn't go to court with him. She didn't tour him with his book. She wasn't beside him and, and with him during his and everything that he was doing that was destroying himself. Now, all of, all of a sudden, she's going to be there for the Invictus, the closing. What? Once again, she wants to be, oh, I, I'm this humanitarian. That's why I got this award. And that's, who is she fooling? Who is she trying to convince that she's this great person because she's coming to the closing of the Invictus as if that's some stuff to write home about? Like, that's news. So, I'm sorry, but Megan has lost her star power. And I just don't see her packing out a room of people because Megan's coming. Ooh. They're being erased. That's what it looks like to me. WME is next. There's nothing. What are they able to do? Have they have her popularity changed? Has things changed? Is she ready to bring out her TIG so that she can make money? Or is it still in fractured mode? According to William, we're not sitting down with Trader Harry right now. Harry is with someone that has got his brain somewhere else and whatever he's talking about is gonna be trickery. We have trusted these two several times over and over again. As a matter of fact, according to Neil Sean or Sean Neil, he said that Harry and Megan and Doria told Harry's family that they were not going to be disclosing any information that would be, you know, discreditable towards the royal family or just negative. Let's just put it that way. And they turned around and did exactly what they said that they wasn't going to do. But ultimately, what can he do? It's very, very sad. I think... I want that again. Dude, we might be here a minute. Harry wrote about him in the book and said about him on Netflix. On William's relationship with Harry, the source added, they were very close growing up, so it has been very painful for William. But ultimately, what can he do? It's very, very sad. I think it is completely understandable that right now William is still absolutely disgusted by what his brother has done. For one man who knows all about the family. He is disgusted. I believe that William understands that Harry is not ready to have a man-to-man -man conversation with him about, you know, getting things on the up and up. That's what I believe. I don't believe William is like, oh, no, I'm holding grudges. No, he's a king. He's got to move past crap because they're going to be taking more hits than this. No. Harry is protecting everyone. 
William, excuse me. William is protecting everyone, his father, his wife, his kids, and his country. He's protecting everyone from Harry and Meghan because they have deemed themselves to be dangerous. Because anytime you go around talking about racism, you shake up. And unfortunately, unfortunately, Megan, I am learning that it can't be swept under the rug because it's being swept right back as much as you would like for it to go away. It's not. I believe that William is just like, not now, Harry. You are still with that. And as long as you're with that, we can't have a conversation. And if, you know, when you're, you're not ready. And I just don't, I believe William will know when it's ready to have a conversation with his brother. When his brother is ready. But his brother is not ready. He's gone. And William has accepted that. Because he tried to reach Harry several times. Harry, Harry, slow down, slow down, slow down. You just met her. Oh, no, no, keep going. I'm going to marry her. Oh, she, she messed him with the staff, Harry. No, 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 she's not. No, she's not. Harry, at the funeral. I mean, every, you know, he went with the tram. And so William understands now that Harry is in a no- a whole new world. <laughs> okay, see. My daughter can. She has a beautiful voice. These ups and downs over the years as Princess Diana's former butler and close confidant. Let me get to it. Oh my god. Oh, so, Paul, wow, this is a really strong briefing from a friend of William. But do you agree? You yeah, what? With what he's saying. It was. I'm it's sorry, you gotta play a little bit again. Just the briefing. Paul, so, Paul, wow, Come on, this guys, is a really me. strong briefing from a friend of William. But you just no and I won't interrupt it. He feels utterly betrayed by what Harry wrote about him in the book and said about him on Netflix. On William's relationship with Harry, the source added they were very close growing up, so it has been very painful for William. But ultimately, what can he do? It's very, very sad. I think it is completely understandable that right now William is still absolutely disgusted by what his brother has done. For one man who knows all about the family's ups and downs over the years, as Princess Diana has called the butler a close confidant, Paul Burrell. So, Paul, wow, this is a really strong briefing from a friend of William. But do you agree with what he's saying? I, I Dan, I, Dan, I do, because I know the rules well. Uh, listen, the king loves both his boys, uh, but there just isn't time in his diary right now before he goes to France to fit Harry and his woes into his schedule. I don't believe there's any way back for Harry. I think this is the second time the king has told his son he doesn't have time to meet with him. This is the second time I remember because the other time he was going over there for court, which which was stupid, going over there suing his country because of his woman. Anyway. And then this time, and I could be wrong, but this is the second time that they have said, uh-uh. <laughs> no. That's big. That is big. That is big, 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 big. They are done with Harry. They know he's not only up and up. They, I feel like they know him, of course, better than we do. But... 
I don't even think they're, it's, it's about forgiveness. I just think, think that they know Harry's not ready. And they saw this coming. The down, they have hit bottom. And they need the royal family more than she knows. Her next move would be getting those kids on that plane and saying some stuff, throwing this out in the in the theater. <laughs> to where the theater. Um, I'm taking little bit and Archie to see their grandfather. Mm -hmm. Pushing, just pushing. That's when she. That's when you know it's serious over there. And it's who needs who, in my opinion. Because Harry's trying to get in. He's trying to talk to his brother and then his father at a summit. And they turned him down and said, no, we don't want to talk to you. Why? I think it's because they know that she's still with that Jezebel. And that as long as he's she's with her, they have no chance with him. Harry going to be talking, nah, 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 talking that stupid stuff. Like apology and Megan wants to come over and change the sheets. So I heard that she has some demands. <laughs> Check it out. For her trip to the uh, Invictus closing. She didn't make that about herself. Certain sheets on the bed that she's used to now. <laughs> Thomas Markle. What did you create? I would love to see her on a reality show. Wouldn't you? I would just be like, this is really her. This is who she is. She'd call ahead and tell them, now, can't, I, I like those sheets. You know, it's just, it's something about those sheets that I really, really like. <laughs> now let's move on, guys. I know. Both he and Meghan have burned their bridges, not only with the royal family, but with this country. Both William and Prince Dan, the king, were devastated by Harry's revelations and his indiscretions, and they do not appreciate the fact that Harry has been um, washing dirty laundry in public. The royals find that appalling. Um, and it, it's, it's very difficult. And here's the kicker. That's just what we know. Megan does, doesn't look like she has a problem at all telling anyone any one of her friends, her A-list of friends, what happened to her in the wicked, wicked castle. I do, I do believe that because remember when Gail was like, Megan knows what happened. Like she was trying to convince us that what we know of her, that she's not a liar. Yes, we, yeah. <laughs> this was after the two hour car chase and Gail was trying to defend it. And everybody was like, yeah, you know, it was not Manhattan and you can't do that. You can't, you cannot. First of all, and I was like, I was trying to comprehend it because they kept saying Uptown and Midtown and I just know Manhattan. <laughs> then I realized that it was down with that. It's like, oh my God, it's like busy all the time. There's, it's like, Gail, um, um, she knows what happened over there. She knows what happened. And I said she knows what happened over where? At at the UK. That's what she was trying. That's what she said. That is what Gail said. She knows what happened. I will, I, I'm going to have to watch it again. It's been a while. I need to refresh my memory. But I do remember Gail saying that. And when she said that, she was trying to say, in my mind, that, oh yeah, Megan's told us everything that's happened to her. And you believed it. Let's move on, sorry. Difficult for them to forget those barbed comments against Camilla, against Kate, against members Everyone. of the royal family who have been hurt. Really? She didn't leave. <laughs> Megan didn't spare no one. No one treated her right. Everybody was the enemy. That's when I started. It was just, just suspicious. And I was just like, that is not what I saw on TV. Girl, you rolling up in a in a black, beautiful car, your mom stepping out like she's prince, a, a princess herself. And they walked her into this beautiful place where she 
transformed, her, trans, transformed herself into a princess for Harry and then started whining about it. <laughs> I bet Diana would be like, who is this, Harry? <laughs> I would be. Who have you brought up in here? Anyway, let's move on because I need to get to the end. Really hurt by <laughs> what Harry had said. And so now the royals are standing in solidarity. And they, they're keeping him at arm's length because if they let him back in to the royal palaces um, and with the family, he'll just get more information which he'll use as ammunition later. I think the royals are. It's weird that Harry would need more information. It's weird. He lived with them all their lives and he needs to walk up in there and take more notes. <laughs> that tells you that there's nothing to tell. That he said everything he needed to say that he thought was going to be a punch. What? They don't, Megan ain't going back over there. The only way Megan will be back over there is when all hell, when, she, when money Wait to the pocketbook. Wait till the tea come out. She waiting for all of that stuff. But WME, if they drop her, she had better be careful. Because that is going to be scary. I've been expecting it, wondering about it, because they haven't done anything. But they're going to turn her into this superstar. What they're going to do? Have a commercial with her hair blowing in the wind and she in a red dress talking about buy this perfume what the heck run out and get it <laughs> arising above it and silence is the best policy just well, let indeed. them do their own thing indeed it's excoriating language though isn't it speaking of being absolutely yeah. disgusted what's interesting too oh, is that it feels like William has taken the lead on this and Charles is prepared to listen to him. And it's William who is laying down the law and saying, absolutely not, Papa. You're not yes. speaking to that guy. We can't forget what he did just a few months ago. You can't forget what he said about Camilla. You can't forget what Megan said about Kate. He's right. I think you're right, Dan. I think you... You can't. You can't. As a parent, you want to and you can because you're like, forget it and move on. But more is at stake here. You can't, there's consequences for bad behavior. You have to, or you just keep doing it, right? No? Or not even that. It's like, it gives them the okay to think that they were okay to do it. It's weird. But I get it, no, I don't think it's time. It's not, I get it, William. They have not learned their lesson. If they had, they wouldn't continue these games and these shenanigans all through the media and playing and whatever, her PR team. It is not time to come out with a brand yet. Mm -mm. No, this, you need a forgiveness period, don't you? She's not giving that and she's not changing anything for anyone to she doesn't apologize to the UK. Let's check this out. Even if I thought I offended you, knowing that I hear everybody else saying that I offended you, Harry's wife, I would apologize and say I never meant to hurt or say anything disparaging about my husband's country and his people. And, you know, no. No. And then the, the definite, definite, the deafening silence. makes it too late. It makes it like, oh, when it does happen, it's just gonna be like, okay, she will win some back. But not all. Because 
is it authentic or isn't it? Why is she going over there to those games to speak like Lady C, um, not Lady C, Angela Lemon said, to speak about courage and, and, and all of that and perseverance? What does she know about that? It's going to fall flat. And Angela said, she's going to be talking about herself and praising herself and how good she is in situ because she doesn't hear. She's not listening. But if I was WME, I would be listening so I could help. Like, okay, listen, let me take these notes. This is what I think we need to do. So far, they fell. Let's go back. That's what's happening because um, the king wants a happy ship, much like his mother. Like to have a ship, she did not like confrontation. And I think the king is following suit in that way. And yet William's behind the king saying, look, Papa, I'm going to be king in the near future and I'm going to have to deal with this mess too. So yeah. listen to what I'm, what I'm saying to you because I'm going to live with this problem longer than you will. Mm -hmm. And Harry is going to be troublesome. He said, oh, this is good. He said, wait a minute. I'm going to have this problem longer than you. So, wait a minute. Let's make sure we have some great things in place. And if not, let me make some decisions that will, you know, make it better for us as a country. That's it. William is not thinking about him as his brother. He's thinking about him as a traitor. And he should, because that's who he is. Anytime you're trying to destroy something, Harry was trying to destroy things. The dynasty of it all, the royal family, the monarchy, the whole thing. Just, psh, what did he think he was going to accomplish when he said that his family was racist? Let's just take a moment. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew I was going to want to go longer. Uh, this is going to be part two. This is going to be video one. And if I just talk and run out, forgive me. Kisses to all of you. I'm going to do a part two. And don't forget to hit like and comment. If I don't get to say it at the end. And kisses. Love you. He's thinking of his people, his family, everything. And he's thinking of Harry as a traitor. He's not thinking of Harry as my brother. Hmm. No, he declared war. He did. And they've had to work overtime, damage control. And work just as hard and diligently and continue to just and do it effortlessly and continue to show the world what Megan and Harry, this is, let me tell you something, they messed up. Harry and Megan are, oh, it's bad. It is a really bad situation for them. It really is. I can't think of it. This, it's getting any worse. William is one of the most influential people in our country, the United States, not our presidents. They voted. And it speaks volumes to me because I forgot what I was saying. I went too far. So, uh, brother and son. He always was and he, al he always will be. It's so, what? How to solve a The traitor and the tramp. Harry. It's a very Amy. difficult thing to do. And the king, I think, is trying to measure it. I think William is furious. Texas. And he's being fueled by Kate, of course, who is equally furious. And I don't <laughs> think this is going to be um, sorted out in the near future. I really don't. Um, there is I'm going to play Kate for a minute. I believe Kate, oh, I might have to do it. I believe Catherine. Look at him calling him Kate. That's why we call her Kate. Catherine, now. 
she, um, I think she learned who Megan is and was and realized that, okay, who she's dealing with because she's never had to probably deal. No one, Catherine, has had to ever deal with someone like Megan. So welcome to the club. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is new. This is new to everybody, okay? This is unprecedented. This is crazy. And what's cool, cool about it, she's not listening to nobody. Nobody. I, I can see Oprah just listening and letting her just do whatever. And in a sense, and then I could see Oprah saying, wait a minute, what? But see, Oprah wanted the scoop, so it didn't matter. So she wanted her to be unfiltered and not, I was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. what? <laughs> you sure you want to say that, Megan, that your family is racist after you heard him say that, I said, I don't even think I want to ask that question of you. Do you honestly want to say that? You know, I would have challenged her. I just, of course I would have. All right, moving on, come on. There's no time for those two. Um, they have turned their back on our country, on its people, on their public duty, <laughs> on the 